outside. So today we're gonna. Today we're going to. <laughs> I've been asked to review the garage tents here in my backyard, but unfortunately I never got around to that. Because these cheap pieces of crap only lasted me seven years before succumbing to the hurricane force winds that threw them up in a tree. Serious. What a lousy product. <laughs> I kid. Just the fact that these tents lasted me seven years at all is absolutely remarkable, since other folks suggested that the tents only lasted about a year or so here in the Florida sun. I suppose my saving grace is all the tree cover that I had here in the yard formerly before the hurricanes that shaded it from the sun and lightly deposited leaves on top of it. It even had some vines growing over the top of it that helped to hold it down and shield it from the elements. Well, they were really good tents to me. So, I held out long enough after all the hurricanes last season, one roughly every two weeks impacted us somehow here, so I figured now is time to put in some tents. Just in time for the hurricane season to begin yet again. <laughs> I got this tent from a local friend of mine named Todd, who actually got it from Wild Bill. It was sitting next to his house for about a year or so out in the rain, which is the reason why the box looks so ruined, and this is the reason why the instruction manual is completely trashed. Thankfully, they're really easy to put together. On a side note, while transporting this home, I got stopped and accused of murder. Yeah, you heard that right. They thought that I was transporting a dead body. I was told that they knew that I was a weirdo when they first saw my choice of tow vehicle. But you know, what'd you expect? My trunk is too small for a body, even if I cut it into a lot of pieces. But everybody that showed up took a picture and laughed at me. I won't be making the news this time, unfortunately, but I did have to ask, just that I know for next time, what's the best legal method for transporting a freshly murdered body? <laughs> Hopefully I get another seven years out of this one again. And, uh... And that is only if I don't get my shop space built before expected come next year, so <laughs> here's hoping. But as you can see, these tents go together rather simply. The tubes slide into each other and the canvas ties it all together. I'm sure you could use some self-tapping screws to help strengthen the frame, but the frame strength was never an issue with these tents anyway. It was always the canvas. The problem I had with the old tents was the doors became rather worn from having been rolled up to open and back down again to close for seven years. That really took their toll on these tents. The canvases were beginning to show wear on the parts that were wrapped around the corners of the frame, likely from stress and the friction from nature on the outside. Yeah, they had leaks, but if it wasn't for a bucket of tar that I spread over some of the splits in them, they probably wouldn't have lasted me nearly as long. And if it wasn't for the zip-up doors catching the wind and working as if the tent were a giant parasail, they might have actually still been with us after Hurricane Sally. It was just that magic moment of the wind blowing exactly the right direction combined with the compromised doors that did us in. Welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and this is... Ashlyn. Ashlyn. And today we're here to talk about these lousy piece of shit Harbor Freight tents that I got that, man, I bought them seven years ago and those pieces of junk, they just, they held up right until we had a hurricane with like 150 mile an hour winds and it went up into trees. A piece Woo! of crap. Piece of crap. I mean, seven years really, that's all I'm going to get out of them seven years before a hurricane puts them up in a tree. <laughs> I think it's pretty good considering most people say they only last one year in the Florida sun. And these lasted me, well, one was actually almost eight years and the second one was seven years i liked the first one so much that i immediately bought a second one for gregory the bus first one used to cover ruby which is the fastback right here behind ashland and uh after the hurricane took them away in september i've been wanting to put them back up but because we had hurricanes you remember about every 10 days we were getting hit by something else there was another one that might have been trailing supposedly yeah, well i mean they hit but well, they, they did, were like but... kind of a close miss and we got something they but it wasn't wiggle. major but i wasn't ready to put up another garage tent for it just to be up in a tree again you know two weeks later it just didn't make any sense to me so i put it off i put it off i put it off and then the storm season just ended and it really hasn't rained a whole lot until like a couple weeks ago and here we are in uh March now and finally the range is starting to pick up the seasons are getting ready to change and it's time that I put these garage tents back up because me not having a dry space to store my Volkswagens and my Volkswagen parts is absolutely killing my heart and it <laughs> I'm having a real hard time with that good news I got one from one of the guys in the Volkswagen club he thought he was doing me a favor and he was absolutely he had this one sitting in his 
well, not in his, but next to his garage for probably about a year. You guys know Wild Bill. Wild Bill actually gave it to Todd, and then Todd gave it to me. So it's kind of a hand-me-down thing. It's a brand new Harbor Freight tent. It's just been sitting out in the weather and next to his garage in a cardboard box. It's completely obliterated, the packaging is, but there's nothing wrong with all the fun stuff inside. So today we're going to... Today we're going to... <laughs> If I can only stay focused. Today we're going to go ahead and try to put that tent together and I'm going to talk a little bit about it and uh, tell you my opinions of it, what I think of it along the way. So is there anything you'd like to interject today? Uh, anything you want to add? Allergies suck. Yeah, allergies suck. And you guys know back in February I had a similar problem and I was a mess too for uh, I guess about three, four, five, six days, something like that. About a week. Yeah, it was, it was a little less than a week, a little less, about five, six days, something like that. But it messed me up for a little while and now you're having a problem. Well, a little bit. How bad is it for you? Itchy. It was itching. My eyes swelled up really bad. A little leakage. Well, from my nose. The back. Oh, no, I thought maybe you had a little butt leak. No. Ew. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. I'll get you some tissues. Ugh. No. <laughs> Anyways, licky like you can subscribe, plug that dingle bell so you get updates every time I upload a video. Check out duckshit.net for all of our distant social media links. Ashlyn just had a birthday and nobody sent her presents. I'm sad. Oh, she's horribly sad. In fact, when I wasn't looking, she hit me with a stick because nobody wanted to listen to me. And you guys might find that amusing. <laughs> we'll have to make video of that, perhaps. But please send her something. Hit up duckshit.net and find the address there. It'll say my address. It'll say my name. Just cross the name out and put Ashlyn on there. And I'll make sure that she gets it, and we'll open them up on video. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll be back right after the intro. My hand was blocking. Do it again. There it is. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Wasting my tape. <laughs> I used to work for the mailroom back home in Iowa for my company that my parents worked at. This is really crazy. <laughs> I can't cut it. So much for working in the mailroom. Well, this is not a very good tape gun. <laughs> Works fine for me. <laughs> we will be using this today if she doesn't waste all my tape. It doesn't cut it. Yes, it does. Watch. Put the tape over it. Stop. Done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you need. <laughs> Don't even stick to your greasy face. All that lotion shit. Oh. In there. Yeah, it's all in there. It's all right, my, show me that. Show me that. All right, the reason why we're using this today is because we're going to be taping together the joints on the tent. Because they don't screw together and there's no other way for, to hold them together easily. And a little piece of tape does so the job. Some people say use duct tape. Duct tape's ugly. This type of stuff, once you put it on the joints, you don't see it. So, there it is. What do you think? Yay.
we got us a tent again. Yay. Huge help from Ashlyn. Thank you so much for all the assistance today. You're welcome. Now, as you guys know, I put up the other two by myself and it took, well, I don't know, a couple hours. We did this probably 90 minutes maybe. Mm. You don't think so, maybe? Well, you had to cut some crap up. And yeah, I had to cut down some trees and crap that were growing since September. When the hurricane takes down trees and things get cut off, trees get desperate and they start growing out of their roots out of the ground in all different places and that's what happened it was all this stuff back in that was growing that didn't used to be there so it had to to go away so i did have to cut that up so yeah it probably took about the same amount of time if you include the cutting up of the tree so good call on that but otherwise look at this we got a place to put ruby now i'm going to go and purchase a second one when they go on sale so i can cover up gregory again and hopefully i'm only going to need them for about another year <laughs> until my shop gets Never built know how um well, I'm not too worried about hurricane season. I'm talking more about um, um, when the shop gets built. But this is what I needed. I needed some of this. Here we go. This is why. This is why I was looking around. Knock on wood, shop gets built in a year. We could just use your head for wood. Why'd you have to find that? Well, why would you want to beat on my little head? You have a big head. Yeah, but the little head is the one that's wood. <laughs> big head is concrete. Okay, let's test it. Give me a piece of wood. You just test it by floating it in water. Concrete doesn't float. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. As always, licky, likey, comment, subscribe, plug that dingle belly so you get updates every time you upload a video. And check out DuckShit.net for all of our different social media links. Ashlyn's got a Patreon. She's got an Instagram. She's got a YouTube. You're still working on that Patreon. You better get it launched. She it's just up. had a birthday and nobody sent her anything. I still can't believe it. Nothing got sent to her. Sad, not even a postcard. Not a postcard. Nobody even licked a stamp and stuck it on a blank piece of cardboard. I just wanted a postcard. She got nothing. Send her a postcard from, I don't know. Uh, England. Australia. I was going to say. I know Australia, I got some Sweden Aussie fans. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, so where's the fans for? And you do want to send over a postcard to wish her a happy birthday. Of course, we'll read them out and um, check them out in a Monday video. So as always, check them out. And uh, as always, hit up... Oh, fuck, let's try it again. <laughs> Woo! As always, hit up duckshit.net and you'll find my address right there. It's the same one for Ashley. It's the same one for B. So check it out. Just address the name differently on it and send her package on over. We'll make sure we open it up on Monday. Anything else you'd like to add today? I am tired. She's tired. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> She's not really tired. She's just grumpy. And here it is. I told you so. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy we're going to start stocking the tent back up with my junk. Pick up more things from around the yard so the yard's not such a freaking mess. I'm so excited. This is like such a good feeling today. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. It's kind of neat having the camera seven feet in the air. It's way <laughs> up there. <laughs> You know, everybody left me, and I'm left picking up all the trash. <laughs> <laughs>